But yeah, Fire wins that 3-1. Uh, Fire did really well at this tournament. I believe he got second. Yeah, he got second at this tournament. This was in Italy. Uh, this was uh, like their, their major, I guess. Okay, next up is versus Robo Luigi. Zard versus Rob. Zard versus Rob is hard. Until you get Rob in the air. And then Zard just kind of bodies Rob in the air. Because Rob is not good at landing. Rob has slow aerial frame data. Really, like his aerial frame data is really bad. Apart from fair, like his aerial frame data is really bad. Three of his aerials are the slow... Uh, no. Nair is the slowest Nair in the game in terms of startup. Back air is the slowest in the game in terms of startup. Down air is also very slow. Fair is quick. Up air is fairly quick. But up air you're not using to land. So he doesn't have a good way to land. His air speed and physics aren't that good either. <clears throat> so he gets crushed by Zard's up smash. And we'll see that in this set. I am doing very okay. Thank you very much, uh, Spiff. Hope to see you soon. Hope to see you in Nairo Saga. Woo! <laughs> he wanted to end that stock real quick and then he lost his stock as a result. Alright, that is the start of a game. He went really in. I mean, if he landed that day, it would have been the stock, but <laughs> he went way too far in. Anyway, at the moment, be aware of their overall positioning. Beautiful! Uh, for a lot of that, Fire still had uh, approximate control of center stage. He wasn't in the corner that much. Robo Luigi was the one playing from the corner. This is quite important versus Rob because having center stage means that he can't really retreat back and run away all too often. You can gradually edge your way in. Okay, good that he terminated that flamethrower there. I like the idea of that Nair, but Nair is too slow and bad. Ooh, no punish on the down smash. Anyway, thank you very much to Miguel Gamer21 for the follow. That's punish. Full throw. Oh! Oh! Excellent. excellent donation! Thank you very much for the donation. I do not know how much, but thank you very much nonetheless. Wow. That still killed. Rob is something else. Anyway, yeah. That, uh. That up air. Down throw to up air. Down throw is a dumb move. Like, why is it a combo throw with near set knockback? <laughs> and. It's like. Down throw is mainly affected by rage as opposed to growth. But yeah, it's very strong. It does suffer from one thing. Uh, Rob down throw, Rob up air angle even. Rob down throw doesn't matter, but his up air angle is the same as Zard's up throw. So it's a 70 degree angle. So if you hold down and away, you survive a lot longer versus it. I think he almost did that there, but yeah. The thing is, Rob's up air is also a bit ambiguous about which way it will send you. So... Depending on how you DI the initial hits and Rob's overall positioning, if you uh, you could get sent the other way, and so your down and away DI won't mean anything. It's a weird move. What up, Pidgey? Friend. For those of you who don't know, uh, Robo Luigi is debatably the best Rob in Europe. Him and like Longao are very good, and Anti Reflex as well. They're like the top three Robs in Europe. Ooh, barely clipped with that flamethrower. He would have got hit by the laser otherwise. And again, Ro uh, Fire is playing largely from center. He's uh, already forcing Robo Luigi's into the corners. And when uh, Robo Luigi or Rob is has to play from the corners, uh, it's much easier to kind of whiff punish him. It's much easier to create openings. Wow, that was a real nice aggressive grab coming from Robo Luigi. Caught the roll back. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> again, here we go. Rob is above. He gets up smashed. If you're getting hit by a bomb, uh, like lots of rob projectiles, edge your way in slowly. You don't have to constantly dash in. You can walk if 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 need be. Very nice turnaround uh, grab. All right now, stage control. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was really nice. He was anticipating uh, him to drop shield and try to anticipate the, the, to catch the back air, the landing back air. But fire went for the up B, up smash, nice and broken move. Fair, not enough. Rob's kind of heavy. Again, another nice use of the turnaround. Not able to get the jabs, but up smash prevailing once again. All right, so this time Robo Luigi has the center state. Ooh, oh, I was hoping for something really cool there, but Robo Luigi didn't didn't deliver. All right, good delay to do the fly late. Power shields in there, but he's still alive. Oof. Yo, this set was this game was sick. So fire is behind a lot. 168 to 26. He has no stage control. Ooh, he gets hit by sour spot down air. And almost dies off the top. And then, Rock Smash. Alright, wait for it. 188. Zard is very fat. So he held onto that stock for a long time. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of a different game. I'm thinking of, I think, the game after this? I thought that was Fire's last stock for some reason. <laughs> breaks out of the pressure with the fly. You can also use fly if you think that the the rob is going to go for an air dodge bait. Wow, that worked. That worked because he had no rage. Down throw versus certain characters can true combo as a kill confirm. With either fair or uh, up air. That was a very bad fair. He won't die to an up throw though. He'll die to an up smash though. And of course to a back air. There we go, up smash. Once again, because he was cornered, he didn't really have much room to breathe. And so the aggressive up smash was pretty good. Robo Luigi was playing very button heavy. He wasn't really defending that much. So I think it made sense to go for that. Uh, to go for that up smash. I love doing up smashes in anticipation of the opponent's roll. People like to roll back very often, and so I just up smash them. I just run forward, extend my dash further, and up smash them. Hey, what up, Vataji? Ooh. Can't get those confirms versus Zard. Air dodge read? Ah. Uh, he went for an air dodge read. He wanted to end his stock early. Um. But Robo Luigi didn't DI in. Goes for the Nair. Nair works as a follow-up. It gets less damage than uh than fair. But of course it means that you're not staling fair. Alright, so if you can keep him off stage, he can prevent him from getting fuel. Of course he he's getting it back now because he's on the ground. Very nice uh, landing. He's got he's got quite a bit of mileage out of those landing uh, flies. Just to because Robo Luigi isn't grabbing his landings because Rob's grab range isn't that great, so he's able to answer the answer with the falling flies. Uh, this range is where it gets a bit difficult though, getting around Rob's projectiles. Ooh, the gyro actually helped fire there. Had he not clanked with the gyro, he would have got punished by that down smash. Okay, so that would have worked on a lot of characters. It didn't work on Rob. Rob wins this matchup. Uh, it didn't work on Rob because his ledge get up animation is a bit slower than everyone else's. It's like one or two frames. It's only like plus one Rob, but I think Rob wins. Rob's uh, regular get-up is slower than most of the casts. It's like everyone's, Rob's, and then Palatine and the Mies. I don't know why, and yeah, up air being dumb. 
getting the kill confirm at the top of the damn screen at freaking 100. Alright, so he was jumping a little bit too much. I'm not quite sure what he was trying to get from jumping. Down there! Okay, so Rob's... Okay, managed to get through. Rob's neutral air, depending on how it's timed, is really safe. It auto-cancels the frame after the hitbox ends. Trace with the rock smash, that's, that actually kind of sucks. So it can be difficult to punish, particularly with uh, Rob's frame-free jab afterwards. Zard sometimes won't have a button to uh, try to punish it out of shield. This is the game. This is the game where uh, fire is behind. Okay, 94 to 14%. That's like the first dash attack Robo Luigi has gone for. <laughs> and now the second. Anticipates a jump, goes for the up air. That's the good DI again. Uh, LSI slowing down. I think up smash would have caught that landing. Alright, here you go. Down throw, up air. Up smash. Up smash. Up smash. How is Rob getting down? He doesn't. He dies. <laughs> Zard's up smash. It's amazing. How much damage did he get from up smash? He got like 45 from just up smash. So he goes for the down throw, up air here, fresh up air. Up smash. Okay, now up smash has already been a bit staled. He went from 50 to 88 from just up smash. And because he has max rage, fair is really, well, not quite max rage. Uh, fair is really strong here. That was a really well spaced fair to whiff punish uh, Robo Luigi's fair. So that bit at the end, I think, is why the matchup is very doable. It's very easy to catch Rob's landings. He can't really... He doesn't have a fast way... He doesn't have an effective way to challenge up smash. It's interesting how little uh, fire is walking, actually. Oh, he read that roll. He read that roll. He was just a little bit too slow on his response afterwards. Nice shield by Robo Luigi, but he still got shield poked anyway. Nice spacing again, using the turnaround. Again, great up smash. You know what I wanted? I wanted him to up throw and then hit the gyro and then try to combo off the gyro. Again, you have to be careful. When you when you shield, you have to be careful about when you input your dash. If you dash forward after shielding and Robert's hit your shield with something, uh, he can of course hit you. Because you'll have to commit to those frames, those initial startup frames of your dash. Good catch on the landing. Uh, I'm actually not quite sure about the Smashville pick from Robo Luigi in this matchup. I don't agree with it because one, it gives you less space to camp versus Zard. It means that uh, you get to the corner, you get stuck in the corners faster. Two, you're not very good at getting off this platform versus him. He can pressure you very easily on this platform, and that happened quite a bit throughout this set. He's stuck on this platform. And he gets up smashed. <laughs> like, I don't know if uh, that was a shield poke. It didn't look like a shield poke. Let's go back a bit. Okay, so he's on this platform. He's waiting. Up 
Up smash first hit. Wow. He did not drop shield. <laughs> so somehow that shield poked. That's weird. Doesn't look like it shield poked. Well, whatever. He died. Unless he dropped shield at that point and this is like a 30, 30 FPS feed. Maybe. Again, up smash. That time he just misplaced it. But you see how much work it's doing. It's actually stale now. <laughs> That's a bad laser. Rob's projectiles are punishable up close. That's why getting him into the corner is important. Because then he can't retreat back. And he gets isolated on this platform. He's not very good at getting off of it. Okay, he gets hit by the back air. That is punishable. Those sort of paint, uh, point blank gyros are punishable. Gyro has, I believe, uh, it's released on like frame 9. It's quick. It's released quick, but it has like 35, 34, 35 frames of end lag. So there's plenty of time to punish it. Oh, he missed his double jump. That should have been death. And yeah, there you go. There's an example of the up air kind of messing with uh, which way you got sent. Obviously, fire DI'd. Such that he thought he'd get sent uh, that way. To the right. But instead he got sent to the left and so his DI was incorrect. And he wasn't able to uh, influence that through LSI. He might have survived if he had... Uh, if he'd pressed the other direction. Just a little bit of chip damage. You got like three. <laughs> you got barely anything, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, see him right there. He he he's safely up tilted on that platform as well. Like Rob doesn't have anything to just get around get around that. Rob and Luigi's playing really nice now though. He's uh getting his combos. Ooh, that up here. See, he closed this gap really well. He had to flare blitz there. I don't agree with a lot of Robo Luigi's choice to try and down air at the ledge. Because if he if if fire neutral get ups and that misses, that's a free jab for uh, for fire. This is an even game. What the heck happened? Good power shield in that. He was whew. He stared barrel. <laughs> he stared death down the barrel. Really nice edge pressure. Again, once again, like Jab uh, down smash was just able to clank. Another important detail of this matchup, uh, I'm surprised I didn't highlight this before, uh, Rob's Gyro loses the Flamethrower, which is very handy. Well, it loses the Flamethrower provided it hasn't touched the ground yet, otherwise it just kind of blocks the Flamethrower. Really good tech from Robo Luigi. That was a clutch tech. Right, so he's, again, he's stuck on this platform. The gyro here helped him. The gyro here helped fire because it meant that he was able to quickly interrupt out of the up smash. Up smashes again. That's an obvious shield poke and he wins. Hey, what up, Styles? So, yeah. Um, as Rob, pick flat stages. Don't pick Smashville. It's too hard to get off the platform. FD, of course, is one of your main picks. I think Dreamland is also good if you want the gimmick of up throw off the stage. Because <laughs> uh, if the wind is occurring, he can suicide with the up throw. But yeah, don't pick Smashville. Don't pick Smashville. Uh, I don't agree with Lilat. I don't think Lilat's that good in this matchup either. Again, because shocking. And yeah. Alright, so this is the set. This is the winner's final set versus Quick. Uh... Zard ZSS. ZSS is one of Zard's worst matchups. It's very difficult. Um, yeah, like, Zard is just... Can't really deal with Zero Suits Neutral effectively. He does take quick to game 5, though. I think in part due to a lack of matchup knowledge. Like, 15 seconds and he's already taken 69. <laughs> And again, that's another thing. Uh, 
Being at the ledge versus Zero Suit is awful. You're getting onto the stage, down smash. Oh. Uh, oh. The down smash missed. Well, it's a good thing I can't get punished for doing this down smash. But if I hit you, I kill you. Um, she goes for the trump. She can cover a lot of your options immediately after the trump. Just being on the ledge versus Zero Suit is awful. Meanwhile, a lot of Zard's typical ledge pressure options don't work effectively against Zero Suit. You flamethrower at the ledge, she just flip jumps over it and punishes you. She's the only character in the game where ledge pressure with flamethrower is complete, which I think is completely useless. And I don't think that's okay. He almost died to that boost kick. <laughs> pre patch boost kick would have killed him there. Quick is fundamentally very good though. He's definitely the best Zero Suit in Europe. His spacing is really nice. Okay, finally, uh, Fire is able to establish his ground game. But again, he's kind of cornered. And look at that, like, you faint the, uh, you faint the ledge trump, and then you just cover the roll. <laughs> but then she can also cover jump really effectively, because flip jump is broken. Alright, really great power shield. Power shields, you have to power shield Zero Suit's aerials in this matchup. It's just, it becomes way too difficult to even function, uh, effectively in the matchup if you're not power shielding her stuff. That's part of the reason. That was a really good up smash. Uh... Quick is retreating a lot, so going for that extension with the up smash was really good. Um, yeah, if, if you're having to power shield everything just to punish stuff. Just to punish Zero Suit's average game plan. Like, you, that's not good. <laughs> that's a struggle. Zero Suit doesn't have to do the same thing with regards to your moves. Okay, that time uh, Quick anticipated to the overextension. Nice fly. And just actually pressed an aerial. Like when when Zero Suit kind of gets into your zone, and she's very good at that mid range too. Like it's really hard for Zards to kind of work around that. That's a great grab. Quick, uh, Fire didn't have any options at that range to try and contest Zero Suit. That balloon was actually helpful. Always be careful when Zero Suit nares your shield, unless she's timed it, like, clearly late. Because, uh... Obviously, most of the time, Zero Suit will just jab your shield. She'll just jab afterwards, and jab beats all of your out-of-shield options. Um, actually... Jab doesn't beat Fly. Jab doesn't beat Fly out-of-shield. But... You have to be close to her. She has to, like she has to do a poorly spaced nair in order to justify doing fly out of shield. But it beats shield grab, it beats drop shield jab, like it beats every shield grab. But I don't think it beats fly. Because the jab hits on frame five. Like equivalent. She is minus four on block versus out of shield. Uh Jab is frame 1, so 5, yeah. 5 frame difference, and the up B super armor starts on frame 4. So that's that's useful to know. But right there, like, your only option is up B out of shield. But that's a high commitment option, and if instead she chooses to shield after that jab, anticipating that, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna die. The good thing is, is that that is an option that you'll rarely go for. It's a rare mix-up, and no Zero Suit is going to expect that. If she's sitting at like 80% and she just nair into your shield, you cannot be. Fire doesn't do it at all this set. Not many Samus, uh, Zards will. But again, like, Zard is get, uh, Fire is getting almost all of his damage. That was really good, uh, drop zone fair. He's getting almost all of his damage from uh, Power Shield Punishes. He's Power Shielding a lot of uh, Quick's pokes and getting Punishes via that. That won't kill. Okay, what he should have done here, what he could have done here, 
because he was moving towards the platform, what he could have done, upon getting this grab, he could have done down throw into fly. I think he might have had too much rage for that to work, but that might have worked as a true kill confirm. Down throw to fly on the Smashville platform uh, is a kill confirm. Because you don't have to dash forward at all. You can just instantly fly and it works versus all the eye as certain percents. I think it would have worked here. So I don't really agree with this up throw. It had no, ch it had no chance of killing. He might have been able to get jab jab up smash there. I don't know. That back air. Alright, so this is a very, very close game, actually. Uh, Fire's on a good job bringing this back, but then he gets Trump bad. Like, and to be fair, that was a really good Trump from Quick, because he'd been kind of faking out that Trump a lot, and he hadn't actually been going for it. He'd been faking out the Trump and then going for the flip kick to punish the roll-in. So Fire thought, I'm not going to go for the roll-in this time, and he was able to get the Trump. I'm going to be right back, guys. I'm going to grab myself a couple of, uh, a glass of water. So I'll be, I'll be back in a bit. Ah, okay. We are back in business. Alright, so he takes him to FD. Um, I, <clears throat> I agree to not going to platform stages versus Zero Suit. Because she drags you up the platforms and you suffer. Wow, straight for the grab. <laughs> Again, this is uh, Fire's turnarounds coming in clutch. You know, turning around, avoiding that grab. Ooh! <laughs> Rock smashes through all of that. Zare is also very safe on block, as is up air, as is back air. Zero Suit has very, very safe pressure tools. See, uh, quick, oh, quick spacing is so good, and this movement is really crisp. That was a very nice anti-air, again. This is the one area where I think Zard does decently well. He's able to abuse Zero Suit's disadvantage quite well. She can shark her decently well, even with the flip kick. And a giant planet-sized jump. But, oh. Yeah, he has to flare blitz. Oh, no. Nah, yeah, he had to flare blitz. Either that or he, he couldn't afford to fast fall. Which he, he fast he, he fast fell and died. Again, power shielding uh, the Zares. Because uh, Zero Suit is unlikely to do a rising aerial in neutral because it's not safe. Most of the time, she's going to have a fairly rigid timing to when she's going to do her aerials. And so, Fire is able to power shield those quite efficiently. Nice uh, tech chase with the paralyzer. And now this is looking very difficult for Fire. Again, he, he, he got the ledge grab there, but because uh, after doing a tether, after you tether to the ledge, because you can act faster than normal off the ledge, I forget the exact frame count. You can act faster off the ledge, so you're able to cover the opponent's get up options. 
I want to say quick two stocks in this game. Like, look at that. He's he's able to so efficiently cover the ledge, and now he's dead. Like, how do you how do you get back on stage versus this character is hard? Zero suit is yeah <laughs> seven frames versus like what twenty something twenty two. That's a huge difference. All right, so fire is two o down. I think Fire in general has FD as a, com a comfort pick. I think he just likes that stage a lot. Uh, I need to check when the Mars sets were uploaded. Very nice delay on the jab three. Alright, so that's that's the only time Flamethrower is useful as ledge pressure. When she's already done her ledge get up option. Now look at this, how do you... Like, ugh. Again, another power shield on the Zare. That's pretty much all... That's where... Fire is getting most of his damage. Off of power shield and quick Zares. He almost got one there, but that was a well-spaced one. All right, poorly timed grab. It's actually even, despite how much more quick has hit. Another really great power shield. But I think, like, look at how consistently he's power shielding everything. That's a testament to Fire's ability. Gets the gets the rock smash confirmed there. He was able to hold advantage because he was very precise with everything that he did. I don't even know how he like anticipated for this uh for the rock smash because it's not like he'd been getting quick on the ledge that often. <laughs> yeah, so he only got the last couple of hits. He might not have even caught the ledge get up option, but rather caught the end of the uh, caught the intangibility running out. Fire versus Ixis is a set that I can analyze. Um if need be. I think I'll analyze that after the sets that, uh, if, if there's plenty of time left, after the sets I have lined up. Okay. So whenever Zero Suit whiffs a grab, I don't know why he nared there. He could have up smashed. And he got Sour Spot nared to add insult to injury as well. That's like the lowest amount of damage you can get from a down throw combo. Again, uh, pressed. Oof. Alright, good fare to break up the pressure. Didn't want Quick to go in too much. Hoo <laughs> hoo, clips him on the last rock. Nice, uh, nice random move. Again, tries to shield grab that. Can't because Jab beats the shield grab. <clears throat> Very nice grab there. Yeah, I'm so, uh, quick can just instantly get off the ledge, flip jump, and... Uh, ooh, that's a good trade. Not enough, though. See how they almost killed at, like, 100 center stage? Zard's fair is, like, his most underrated move. I don't know why, like, that move is ludicrously strong for no reason. Oh, he went, he went, he knew that he would retreat, so he went for the up smash, but it was a bit too slow. Up throw, may kill here. Oh, it will kill if you don't DI it properly. <laughs> I was a bit unsure, based on the rage, but, um... Yeah, I don't remember the exact percent. Max rage versus zero suit, I haven't actually memorized this percent, even though I made the list and wrote it down. Zero Suit dies early to it. Nah, because Zard's Fair isn't frame 5. 
And Zard's fair doesn't send at some dumbass angle. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go for it. Uh, I'll. I'm more than happy to be in the know of what's happening with Royal Flush. Ugh, I wish. <clears throat> I wish the states had more good Zards. Why are the best Zards? <laughs> the best Zards are just all over the place, but none of them. But not in the states. Why are he three odds in Noto? As who? Mewtwo? If he 3 0 him as Mewtwo, that's amazing. Alright, we're going to Dreamlands. This is uh, one of Zard's best stages. But it's also, of course, really good for Zero Suit. I think... Uh, Fire probably banned it. But I think against Zard, if they don't ban it... Oh, he air dodged here. Like a... Quick, why? Frozen is slept on hard. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't surprise me. Frozen is very good. There was no reason to air dodge there. Like, Fire lost nothing for going for that air dodge read, but there was no reason to air dodge. Up smash. Tech chase. Very nice uh, grab there, anticipating. Whoa. How did that all miss? Why does Zero Suit's up B have no landing lag? It has way less landing lag than it should for a move of its strength and speed. That was a really good. Uh, nah, risky, but it was good. Oh, why don't why did he do neutral get up? Why didn't he flip kick, flip jump? All right, so this is all good extra credit damage that Fire is getting. All right, that's good. Uh, that forces quick into the corner once again. Beautiful fair out shield, jeez. That was a very nice mix-up from Quick. That was sick! Yo, that entire sequence was so high level. From both players, actually. This to the F-Tilt. That was really nice pressure. Using the back end of Nair. And he lands here. <laughs> they both do an evasive option? No, actually no. Fire doesn't do an evasive option. He read this roll back fantastically. What the hell? Damn right we two stock people. <laughs> Zach's Wii Fit's really good. I think Wii Fit sucks. But his Wii Fit's really good. No one knows how to fight that character. And she has a lot of weird, ambiguous setups. I'm actually not sure. I'm, I'm curious to see what, like, John Numbers' thoughts of that character are. Like, how good does he think she is? <clears throat> Because if you're largely solo maining that character with like a bit of Corrin. And you're doing well. You must have enough faith in the character to feel that she's, you know, at least somewhat viable. Anyway, this set. 2-2. Two, two. Yay. I also think Wii Fit Trainer is one of the worst design characters in this game. I'm, I'm just not sure what they were intending for. Oh, that was a good wait on that uh, that down smash, but he didn't wait long enough. That's like the, that's the Nairo dude. Nairo is so good at waiting waiting against spot dodge. Wow, full up rising fair. Beautiful. Anti-air. See, that's, that's the problem. Zard's air-to-air is not good. So when he's stuck in the air... Oh, that was close. Uh, 
And like his jumps go nowhere. So Zero Suit can cover them really effectively. Wow, Mars is really bad. That set versus Icy Mist was really unfortunate. But like, actually no. You know what, I'm not going to say it's unfortunate. He overextended off stage and deserved to die. <laughs> like, he had no reason to go for what he went for. He had a clean lead. He could have played nice and dry. But instead he decides to go for some off stage shenanigans. Fuck that move, by the way. I think Mars is great. I don't sympathize with his character. Because look at what's happening on the screen. What up, Kane Blaze? But yeah. So, Frozen over Mars doesn't surprise me too much. Oh, he's lucky. But yeah, look at this. This is a full stock lead. What is... What can... Fire doesn't really have much he can do. He can't pressure... He can't punish a lot of Zero Suit's pressure again unless he's power shielding. And if at a certain range... Even, even some of the power shields aren't working. <laughs> Quick is seeing that he's power shielding some of the stuff and he's able to spot dodge in time. But he's mixing up uh, his offense and defense. Finally, get something started. Well, I've been complaining about this move since, like, 3DS. <laughs> They've not done anything. Why the hell does the Meteor kill at, like, 30? But you can combo into it. That's dumb. <laughs> I don't care that the sweet spot is that small, like, that's stupid. There we go, jab, jab, up, smash. Again, Zero Suit, another one of those characters, doesn't really have an option against it. He shouldn't have gone for grab there, he needs to go for jab. But... Jab is like your only option because it's the only one fast enough. Grab is too slow. Again, like you saw right there. He tried to grab and it was too slow. Even though, even after the power shield. Look at that. He, he used the up air to cover the jump. And then he was able to cover the roll with the jab. And then the trump itself covered like everything else. Ah yeah, that's it. But oof. fire... Made a lot of really good decisions and a lot of really good plays throughout that set. But it really just came down to a matchup dynamic. Quick also played super well. I feel like they played at a similar level. Quick was a bit better, but the matchup just. not fun. Well, yeah, because he would jump over ledge attack with the upper. <laughs> doing the upper. This was at Umibura. This was like the most recent one. This is uh, Toshi versus Abadango. This is where Abba's playing a uh, Bayonetta. So Toshi, uh, I think Toshi's like the most aggressive of all the Zards. He does a lot of Nair. That's a really nice uh, up smash against that cross up. But this is this is something that pissed me off about this matchup. So, okay, let's go from the beginning. Alright. So, yes, the bullets. They both won an exchange in neutral. Toshi wins another neutral exchange, and then another one there. So he's won neutral three times for 38%. Gets a bit of chip damage with the flamethrower. They're both in neutral, right? This is all neutral. Mario gets one hit, okay? Toshi has the stage control. He gets one hit at like 17. Now all of this is advantage because Zard can't really do much against this. Against the Bayo flying around pressing buttons. They still haven't returned to neutral. <laughs> he took he took over 60% from an extended Bayo punish. And then he died. 
He lost neutral twice. Three times if you include those bullets. He lost neutral twice otherwise. And he lost a stock. This is the fourth heaviest character in the game. Do you see why this matchup is a problem? <laughs> it wasn't as prevalent in the Salem set just because of the nature of the players. But like, that's so dumb. Like, you really don't have any options versus uh, Bayo's offense. Everything is too slow. You just have to try and get away from it. But when Bayo has frame 7 dive kicks that fly across the screen, like, it's, it's difficult. And very low cooldown aerials against a character that doesn't have the frame data to contest Beautiful. them. It's hard. Thank you very much uh, to... Whoa. Rashid. I'm just going to call you Rashid. That's... Oh, no, that's... Oh, that was... Oh. But that must have been uh, the donation from before. That must have been you, Snack. Thank you very much. And thank you very much to Silent Plasma for the follow. Yes. Okay. Emails are weird. It's like I was reading it wrong. But thank you very much to both of you. Um, yish. But like, okay, let's, let's rewind this a bit. All right. So he lands with lag and Bear is able to cover it. Tries to jump away, able to cover it. Nair covers the air dodge, gets trumped, of course, rolls in, typically, that was a good coverage from the, uh, from the trump, gets a grab, again, trying to land, very difficult, nice work by Abadango going for the second witch twist there, instead of the side B, in order to catch the up with the eye, and yeah, he lost that first stock real quick. <laughs> But yeah, Toshi is very aggressive with his Nair usage. Which is strange against Bayo, because like... I feel against Bayo, you don't want to press very many buttons. Because she whiff punishes from across the stage. Very nice shield, almost gets the out shield, a punish. <sighs> Ooh, close. <clears throat> all right so in that position what's great as zard okay it's a bit hard uh because abba hadn't really had many opportunities to grab the ledge but if you see that you know you're pressing the ledge with flamethrower flamethrower at that position covers everything um except for ledge roll knowing this what you can do is you can terminate the flamethrower early and then ready a punish for the ledge roll. Something like grab or up smash. But obviously Toshi was a bit too slow and wasn't able to do it there. Gets the grab. Toshi in the air. Not really able to do anything. Even even though the positions where it's like. Oh you, a lot of characters would be able to punish you for being directly above me. Zard can't get that punish. Because his moves are too slow. Anyway. A nice back air. Alright, I see what he did there. He tried to get a jab. Okay, that time Toshi DI'd away to avoid the potential second witch twist. And again, uh, Abadango is doing a really good job adapting his uh, combos to match Toshi's DI. And he's Beautiful. holding advantage really well as well. Thank you very much to... Uh, oh, thank you very much, bruh, for the follow. I hope you're enjoying the analyses. Bruh is another very solid uh, Charizard as well. This was another thing that Toshi did badly. Uh, he got hit by a lot of these. He just he didn't crouch or shield them. He shields that one. But like he got hit by a lot of bullet climax. Um, I think in this game and the, maybe the next one. Okay. Yeah, again. Committing to long range flamethrower. Getting hit by bullet climax. Very bad position. Being in the corner versus Bayo is not fun. Finally gets a hit. Ooh, goes for the drop zone there. Had that hit, that would have won him the game. Okay, I really like this. That was a really good play from Toshi. Because obviously, you know, from this position, Abba's obviously, okay, you know. If I catch this with the back air, I win, right? He missed the back air. But he's obviously going to try to continue pressuring with the back air because it's a good move. And, uh, yeah. I can't really read the message from this position because then I have to close switch chat. 
He goes for the full hop air dodge to try and get some stage control here. So that's nice. I don't have Twitch alerts open, so I can't do any of that. What did he die to? I think he died to a bear. Yeah. He missed that Nair, and he died to a bear. Obviously, Abba was fishing for that since it's very safe. Long range. Can combo out of it at low percent for some goddamn reason? <laughs> like, why? It's like she drags you to the top of the screen, and then she ends the combo in a bear, but she's not done. She witch she afterburner kicks afterwards and carries on. It's like, uh, oh, oh. That's whatever. You just have to play a very bait and punish heavy neutral against Bear. At least it's a more manageable neutral than versus like Rosa or Diddy. That was a bad full hop air dodge. I think he could have got a punish. Good patience waiting for the, the witch time landing. Again, good patience again, but back within. He could have gone for a down throw there. I think he could have got a combo. Really nice control of the ledge with uh, Nair. Nair, of course, being very good ledge coverage tool. Zero suit? Go away. We, I, I had enough of you. <laughs> Look at these up airs. Ugh. Yeah, this is all disadvantage. Like, how do you how do you get down? I was really good at those juggles. Jeez. <laughs> Great witch time. He was seeing that Toshi was going for a lot of that platform pressure with the Nair, so it makes sense to come down with the witch time. Nair is very safe platform pressure, but... He's extending a bit too much with it. Oh. Nice SD from Abba. He somehow missed the ledge, but we take those. Whoa, that was close. But again, like he missed he missed the combo and was able to carry it on just through the virtue of Bayo. Okay, I remember he does yeah, what was his F smash? This F smash lost him the game. I'm not quite sure what he was trying to do. Maybe that was a miss input. This F smash was very questionable. He was gonna get very little from landing it. 17% and you wouldn't even got that much stage control. And he dies because of it. But yeah, um, it's a shame that none of the other sets of uh, Toshis were recorded or streamed, I don't think. He ended up getting top 32 at uh, Umibura Japan Major, so he did really well.